Hey, it's Stephanie with the Stephanie O Show, and we're here at Ohika Castle, and I am here with the champion, the WBO light welterweight champion of the world, and he looks good. He really looks good for a guy who was in, like, the Battle Royale. You look really good. Thank you. Thank you. I feel really good. So we've been recovering really well from the fight and just uh, getting some traveling and some, some rest. What do I always say? Brains wins out. This is not only a fighter, but a smart fighter. And he was on my show before, and we said it then, way before this championship. I knew he'd be the champ, though. Brains, do you agree? Absolutely. Brains over brawn. It's, you know, it's chess, not checkers. You better believe it. So what's next? I mean, I don't know if you're ready. I'm looking at your eye, and it's like a little scary, but it's okay. A little bit, you know, like trying not to look at it. What's next? Um, you know, right now, you know, we're in negotiations for the next fight, trying to figure out where, you know, where we're going to head up, uh, end up. But uh, for now, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to let my team handle that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax and enjoy Long Island Slummer. So as you were fighting in that fight, I know the first round didn't look good. Yeah. I was rooting for you, though, even after that first round. How did you feel when you were knocked down? Was it like, were you scared? I mean, I know that's a silly question, but, you know, it's a question that most people think, wow, I'm down. What do I do? I'm freaking out. How did you feel? Honestly, I was mad. I made a mistake and I got hit with a, with a punch I should have got hit with and I paid for it for the rest of the night, but I knew that I was going to recover and get right back to the game plan. It was exactly what I did. Did you feel any fear at that point or that just didn't even come into your head? Nope. Nope. I, I said in the interview afterwards on, on the HBO telecast, my heart rate didn't even go up. I knew what was going to happen. I just needed to get back on, on, on the game plan. And at that time, did you think in your head, okay, I need to do this, that, and that? Yes. Well, I mean, we've been thinking about this for months. Training camp was very long and hard and, and, uh, and I prepared well and I think it showed that night. You were amazing. You put on a great fight. You know, you have a brain in there. Just remember what I told you the last time we interviewed. You can only do this for so long because you are a smart boy. And you need to, you know, move on with your career after this. Trying to make some money right now in this fights game, get a couple more titles, and then move on to the next thing. Well, you're going to be a fabulous doctor. You're a fabulous person, and I can't wait to see the next fight. Good luck, Chris. Thank you. Very, very appreciative. And remember, I told you, my son's a plastic surgeon, so he's going to fix up that pretty face when you're done. <laughs> my mother thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie with the Stephanie O Show, 103.9.